Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today I've got a question from somebody who emailed me and they were talking about when NDEs go to heaven, they generally only see relatives and lost loved ones. They hardly ever see friends there. So I want to discuss this one today, okay? So when I had my NDE and I went to heaven back in 2002, I want to do an excerpt today from my book, Five Years in Heaven. Hello, this saves you buying the book if you don't want to go and buy it, okay? That's why I like doing my little excerpts. Okay, so page 72, where I'm talking about the people and animals that were in heaven. Here we go, from page 72. Some were young, some were old. Some wore clothes from centuries ago. Some wore clothes that I could never describe because the clothing resembled what I could imagine would be in a futuristic sci-fi film. Not invented or thought of yet in the time when I existed on Earth. The people were happy and content. Some were walking by themselves through the field of flowers and others were gathered in groups talking and carrying on just like here on Earth laughing and appreciating the company they were in. Now, when I was there, did you notice how I just said the people? I didn't say, oh, I saw my grandmother, and I didn't say, oh, I lost this family friend. Because what I believe, now this is only my personal opinion here, and if you have any feedback, good or bad, I can take it, comment below and let's get the discussion going okay the reason why we don't see family and or friends there is because when we're in heaven we return to our soul's existence which is made up of all the hundreds thousands or millions of lives that we have ex um, existed in so let me put this bluntly in right now i'm in linda life okay i am existing right now as linda but when i go back to heaven i may have 16,458 other lives that i have lived male female animal okay where it is that accumulation of those souls um lives that build my soul so every life that I've been through, I can have how many husbands, wives, children, aunts, cousins, uncles, etc. How many friends have I accumulated in each life that I've had? So that's why when we go to heaven, it's not that we don't see, physically see our best friend from when we were three who died of whatever. And it's not like we see our grandmother who's openly um, put her arms out and run into us. Oh, look, it's you, my, grand, my favorite grandchild's finally here. It doesn't happen like that because we're, what we're encountering in heaven is our souls, okay? So as I was watching people, because I was up there for a long time following people around, I was watching as people, these souls were changing from life to life, okay? That's why I talk about the lady dressed in medieval clothes. She may have been, let's just go there, famous woman from the medieval time, Queen Anne of England, who married Henry VIII, Anne Boleyn, okay? She was there with all her finery on this beautiful medieval long flowing gown. Then instantly she was in a little mini dress. She had a short black bob and it resembled something out of the 1960s that a hippie would wear with all the flower powers all over it. Okay, so this soul had had a life in the medieval times where it was this medieval dress. And then we also, this soul also had a life where it lived in the 1960s. Now, unlike a ghost, when we see a ghost, they appear as this age and in the clothes when they died. But when we're in heaven and our, we return to our soul accumulation or collective, okay, collective awareness or collective consciousness, that's where we can say, right, today, 
I want the best hair from Linda's life, which was when I was about 35. I had really long blonde hair, right? But then I want the figure of how my tight tummy was when I was 18. But then I want the wisdom of who I am in my 50s. So we can swap and change all these different time eras of our appearance. So when we're in heaven, we are the best version of the persona that we present as. Oh, now when we talk presenting, that's our perspective, okay? Because what happens is when we're in heaven, it is our perspective oh, of what we believe in. Okay, that's why Christian people see churches, they see Jesus. You tell a Muslim to, you know, when they have an NDE, they don't want to see Jesus, do they? No, they're they're going there with Allah, Muhammad. Okay, so we create the reality of what we want there. Oh, it's awesome, by the way, because I was there, I've experienced this. So, not only can we be the best version of any life that we have ever led, we can then collectively join to other souls because everything there is one. Oh, gosh. And that's why a soul could be coming down the road dressed as an, I don't know, Genghis Khan from centuries ago. But then he'll change and it'll be your loving grandmother. Because that soul had lived both of those lives. Okay? So, one of the big things here, why does what role does family play in heaven? I believe that there are certain degrees of truth out there. Some people say that families like my I've got two sisters and a mum and dad right now in this Linda life right so when I die my two sisters will be born again in some other existence where we're all connected again some people believe that better me some religions believe that okay other other religions and beliefs say nah it's potluck you get what you get, okay? You roll the dice, you spin the wheel, and duck, 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 it lands on that life that you've got to have. I don't know because I did not reincarnate and go into the tunnel. Now, I saw the tunnel. My great, 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 great grandmother showed me the tunnel. So let me just show you the photo. Where is she? Where is she? Here it is. I found it. It's on page 173. So there's me in my pyjamas. There's my great, 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 great grandmother, Karina. And she showed me the tunnel with the little white light at the end of it. Okay. It was circling, going backwards and forwards at the same time, counterclockwise as well, well as clockwise. And it was energy. It was emitting this energy. Look, I can see it right now. It's like it just happened yesterday. I've got it right now. I can see it. It's, It was huge. It wasn't little. And I could see into it, but it was attracting me. It wanted... It was like a moth going to a, a, a light. It was that attractiveness, that like a magnetic pull. It wanted me to go in there. And my Karina, she said, you can't go in there. Because if you do, you can never go back to the life of Linda. Okay? So she told me all about it reincarnation and that was the chapter um let me just go back there what what did i say it was 172 oops where is she yeah that's where i the tunnel and that's when i go into reincarnation okay uh which will be another video okay so here's reincarnation there you go so i've got a chapter in there about reincarnation what she taught me about it so please know guys nobody knows the definitive answers why or how this all works when really not supposed to know it 
okay? Because what we are supposed to know, what we are supposed to think about and create is the life that we are living now. You know, when we look at our lives, it's not really that long. You know, my daughter's 16. Where did that go? I remember the day she was born. She's now 16. So you double that and it's 32. You double that and she'll be 64. You know, tell me anyone at 64 who's really still good in health and um, can go out and work every day and um, still got all the muscle um, flexibility and everything of a teenager. So she's already a quarter of the way through her good part of her life. Where does it go? It's so quick, our lives. Don't um, pay too much attention to what you don't want to know about. Treat this life as an absolute treasured experience. That's a lesson for today. Because ultimately it doesn't matter about family in heaven. They've all got their own souls. Unless we are that soul too. Because there's a high chance we were our grandmother. Okay. But at the end of the day, that could be it. Is our soul... A collection of all the lives of this family there are so many questions you know there are really so many questions you know the question I got the other day was do friends come into our lives because they're the ones testing us and teaching us our lessons so they've got no other involvement with us and when the lesson is learned they disappear out of our lives so when we've got long-term friends this person suggested to me they said when you've got a long-term friend does that mean that that friend is there to teach you a lesson and it's taken you 20 years to learn the lesson oh (laughs) there's so many ifs and buts and questions about this guys i can only put my little two cents worth in there because of what i've experienced so please don't think that i'm egotistical here and saying oh this is how it is for everybody no this is just how it was for me in my perspective okay so do we see friends and family up there of course we do of course we do i just showed you a photo of me with my great 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 grandmother okay do we see our friends up there well when i died in um 2001 i was 35 years old i hadn't lost any friends at that point you know so doesn't mean that my friends don't go there it's just that I was still young because I was only 35 but it just shows that I didn't have any friends that have died now that I'm 56 I have heard of friends that have died and you think oh wow so young you know um so would I see them when I go back to heaven there's a high possibility because we have that energetic connection to them okay just because we don't see them uh, walking around because we've got to remember every person walking around is is an accumulation of millions of lives so instantly young boys I saw them turned into bears because they'd lived as bears at some point so very very interesting let's open a discussion what are your thoughts um so my book is below in the description if you want a copy um yeah let's get a description going um yeah what are your thoughts anyway talk to you soon bye to learn more about your solistic alignment please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.